In this video, we will address this problem. We're asked to write a script that finds the real roots of the quadratic equation. It says to use a file quad roots, and it's going to calculate the discriminant, and then based on the value of the discriminant, it can tell us how many roots there are, and we want it to display the roots, if there are real roots. So I'm going to do this in a function, not a script, so here's a new function. I'm going to call it quad roots. And we're going to allow three inputs, a, b, c. Those are going to be the coefficients for our equation. And for now, I'm going to not have any outputs. And save it. Always a good thing to save often. And we'll just put in something here. Okay, that's a nice starter. So let's go back to the problem statement. So first we're looking for a discriminant D. Now we want to have a few cases here. First, if the discriminant is greater than zero, we'll have two roots and then display them. If the uh, discriminant is zero, then we have one root, if it's less than zero, no real roots. Okay, so we can do this with it, an if-else statement. So this is the structure we'll use. I have three distinct cases here, and then we will just evaluate them. Uh, we'll print the message here that we were asked to print also. Okay, so I'm using fprintf. This will get us a new line, and I have two placeholders for roots in the string, and then they're going to be called xa and xb variables. So we can evaluate them using the quadratic formula. Okay, so that's the case where we have two real roots. If we have only one real root, it's a little bit different. It's just negative b over 2a. And finally, there are no real roots. I think that ought to do, so I'll save it, and let's just try this. We have a 3, a 6, and a 3. So we can try this. It says there's one real root. Maybe we're not quite sure, but we can test it and we can check it. Uh, it's at negative 1, so maybe I'll make x go from uh, negative 2 to 0. And then we'll try this. And here's my plot. You can see, in fact, that this does look like there's only one real root. It crosses the zero line or touches the zero line at x equals one, so that seems like a good calculation. Try another calculation. Uh, negative three, four, and negative six. Plotting. And uh, let's try the calculation. I forgot to do that. No real roots. Okay, so let's look back at our plot. And it looks like it's all below y equals 0, but let's just double check. Let's expand our x vector. There's our plot, and it has no crossings of the y equals 0, so no real roots. All right, and then another case, negative 3, 7, and 5. Two real roots, negative 0.57 and 2.5. 9, 1. So, we'll let our x go from negative 1 to 3. That ought to do. Here it is, and if you look at about negative 0.5 something, we have a crossing. Uh, that's a nice thing. You can actually uh, kind of look at this. Click there. It tells me the values, negative 0.6, negative 0.28. Okay, and then the other crossing is over here at about 2.9 something. So looks like 
functions working well.